Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a third and final personal break of the day to open one more Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2 Hobby Box tin to check on out. This one is for Ruby S. from Indiana. So thank you so much, Ruby, for letting me open up some more Mando for you here on the channel. I say more because Ruby and her sister Kenzie actually opened up several tins of Season 1 when that released. And I'm excited to be opening up the Season 2 tin for Ruby here this afternoon. But let's go ahead and jump on into it. Did you see? Some nice pulls for Kenzie, actually, directly prior. I'll go ahead and link that right up there. If you guys missed that video, make sure to go check it out. But let's check out this box now here for Ruby by snapping us into the corner. And let's get started. Now, each hobby box does come in this adorable little tin. Seven packs per box. You do get one autograph or sketch card guaranteed per tin. Now, we have seen a box that was actually missing a hint, but that seems to be uncommon. Of course, if that does happen... Uh, you do have to fill out that form and contact tops, and they will replace it for you. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't happen here or in any of our live breaks later tonight. But that tin is super adorable. Let's see what's inside. Do we have our little styrofoam to make sure it doesn't move? Seven packs, like I said. Let's go ahead and crack on into them and see if we can find some super cute Grogu cards here for Ruby. Pack number one. Let's get started. Do have our child insert on the back? And here we go. Let's see what we'll find. We have a blue parallel, proper goodbye. Then we have stronger than you think. Little baby Yoda there. The child insert number one. Do just get one of those per box. There are three different one per box inserts. Do you have one comic cover, one child insert, and just one of the concept arts and it looks like we do actually have an autograph in this box let's see it is magistrate morgan elsbeth diana lee you know santo is a new signer for the set we do have a base auto here so an autograph here for ruby we have grief carga characters insert but let's sleeve up that morgan elsbeth and let's see if we can find some numbered parallels or perhaps any bonus hits here in this box now the costume cards do count as bonuses. The relics, which the relics are genuine screen use prop relics with Razor Crest, the Armorer's Foundry. Uh, I think there may be other ones, but we have seen both of those, so I, I recognize those off the top of my head. Those count as bonus hits. Do have Cookie Envy? Super cute. You can, of course, also find printing plates in this product. That's different from Season 1. Season 1, the inserts had plates, and the base just had the Beskar Metal 1 of 1s. This time, all the base cards do have 1 of 1 printing plates as well. Did find a couple printing plates during our live stream on Wednesday, opening up several cases of Mando 2. We have our first purple parallel of the box, the Child and the Stone. We do have our concept art insert of the box as well. Waiting on that comic cover, then we'll have all three of our one per box inserts. Do you have Changing the Plan, Blue, and Casca Reeves, Characters Insert. Blue Parallel dropping into Trask. And our comic cover of the box is Hello Friend. The legend continues. Super cute. All right, final pack here for Ruby. See if we can find any numbered cards. And it looks like we have, is that a gold or a bronze? Might be another gold. Saw a gold earlier today for Dusty. Looks like a gold concept art. And it is very cute. We have Baby Yoda here taking a little snack break. Four of ten gold concept art. So that's awesome. Today we've seen two gold Grogu Parallels, concept art number five. That is nice. Very nice last back find here for Ruby. So very pleased to see another gold. Actually, only saw two golds out of five cases on Wednesday. So we saw two golds here out of five boxes today. So that's definitely very nice. But let's go ahead and do a recap here of this box for Ruby. One auto, one gold. Then we'll take a look at our just one per box inserts. We only got one purple this time around. But there is our comet cover. Our base concept art did find a gold one, so it wasn't technically one per box this time, but the base are just one per box. Then, of course, the child inserts 12 card set, one per box on those. Just the one purple, so we'll take a look once again. And, of course, did have that gold concept art number four of ten. 
art there by Christian Alsman. And then for our autograph, did have Deanna Lee Inosanto as Magistrate Morgan Elsbeth. That will do it here for this box for Ruby. Thank you so much, Ruby, for letting me open up more Star Wars for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoy the opening and love all of these new additions to your collection. Very cute gold concept art, so I hope you're very pleased with that. And like I said, the Morgan Elspeth Auto is a new signer. Deanna Lee Inosanto is a new signer here for the set. But that does it for all of our recorded personal breaks today. Again, big thanks to Ruby for letting me open this on up for you. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this opening. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button down below. Comment to me. Drop those down below as well. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But as I said, that does it for me here today. Do have our live stream later this evening. Fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong. We've been having some internet connectivity issues once again, so hopefully everything works out. But that is it for me here on video. But before I get on out of here, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have eight Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sotari, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 12 Gem Min fans. Alberto M., Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers, Devon, and Dusty Archuleta, J.H. Geek, Jake Ryan O.C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every single video. But that does it for me here this evening. I hope you enjoyed all three of these Mando Tin Breaks. Each break did have something great inside each of them, so I hope you enjoyed checking out all of those videos. But I'll catch you guys later today. But until then, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!